the standard of God. Huh? That's right. The Bible said, follow peace with all men and admit just that. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, love everybody and admit that. But God never told us to love a demon. That's what the world don't understand. You're playing with a spirit. That's right. And it's not God. But you think it's God. And anybody say something against that demon, then it come down to you hate. It's not hate. Get the demon out the man, out the woman, they'll be all right. That's right. And it is a spirit. Y'all right. ain't saying that. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to defend the word of lead the church. Huh? Yes, they have both. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. I say it on air. And I hope this reach national. Every homosexual welcome in this church mm -hmm. to get straight. Yes, uh -huh. right. Come on. That's right. Do what he say it again? Yes, Every homosexual is welcome in this church uh -huh. to get straight. Amen. That's what the church is for. That's right. For you to get straight. You can't get straight outside the church. Yeah. So that's why you welcome in to get straight. But if you don't want to get straight, then stay away. Because uh -huh. you can't force that on the church. That's right. The church is not forcing salvation on you. Right. And you're not going to force that damnable spirit on the church. Amen. Not this one. All right. No. And it ain't nothing got to do with no hate. Cry hate speech. Ain't no hate speech. You know you got a bad spirit. Uh -huh. right. that ain't normal. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that to me. Come on, begin to read. I had to lay the groundwork. The church is a holy place for people to come and be delivered from all kinds of evil. Alcoholics, just name a few. Drug addicts, hmm? oppressed, depressed. Come on, the downcast. The church is for all that. Mm -hmm. The church is the only spiritual institution I know that you can bring anything in here and leave clean. That's the purpose of the church. Read your Bible. That's the purpose of the church. But the church is not a place where sin is practiced. You don't come in and practice that mess. You come in to get rid of it. You see the purpose of the church? The church is a filter. Huh? You got dirty water, filter, you got clean water. That's right. Huh? Dirty fuel in your tank is a fuel filter on your tank. So clean fuel go to the engine. Uh huh? Huh? Ain't that right? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Look at your kidneys, your liver. The filters, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Your blood get dirty. Food you eat, things you drink. So you got something in the body that filter the blood. Well, the church is to filter a filthy spirit. Uh huh? That's what it's for. Amen. To clean you up. Huh? That's right. But we're living in a time where the world is trying to it's the devil against the church. And nobody recognizes that but the Holy Ghost man. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost people. Yes, we know what it is. Yes, sir. They ain't satisfied just doing their thing. Doing a law passed to force it in the church. Pass all the laws you want. Ain't no faggots coming up in here kissing and hugging. Yes, right. some God made me that way. No. Tell you one thing. You can't stop me from casting that demon out. Right. I tell you that, but you can't stop that. Amen. Right, what? Right. Thank you, Jesus. We're not haters. We're lovers right. of God. Right. We're lovers uh -huh. of righteousness. Right. Huh? And we are defenders of the Bible. Right. Hmm? This country defends the Constitution. Don't it? Yeah. They fight over the Constitution. Huh? We defend the Bible. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, you Republicans in kids' case, any y'all looking at me, I'm not one of you. I'm not a Republican. Thank you, Jesus, because y'all don't like us. Amen. You don't. Nope. But I tell you what I do agree with. I agree with your stance against homosexuality. Right. Kudos. Amen. I agree with your stance on abortion. I do. Right. A child is a child at conception. I uh -huh. agree with your whole heart. Amen. Yes, I do. But all your other God is on what you take that. Y'all ain't saying that, do you? Come on, begin to read. First John 5, 17. Huh? Read the Bible. All unrighteousness is sin. The Bible said this. Now let me tell you something now. Watch this. If our government gonna stay in bed with wrongdoing, they need to stop putting their hands on the Bible in these ceremonies. You can't put your hand on God's holy word and condemn the mess and then say you're a Christian 
It's evil. Amen. Huh? Need to take it right on out. Because that Bible condemned it. And they're working hard to rewrite it. That's why the Bible says, Thy word have I hid well. In my heart. That I may not sin against you. You got to have it in your heart, baby. Y'all better get it in your heart. If you don't have it in your heart, and the day come they rewrite this book, you will know what God said. And you can stand on God's word. Read all what? All unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. See? All unrighteousness is sin. We covered this all the other day. There's a sin not unto death. There's a sin unto death. I make quick meat of that. If you don't repent, that's a sin unto death. Yeah, you get in sin and don't repent and die in sin, that's death, baby. That sin will carry you to hell. Right. And the sin and not unto death, what you repent of? You repent. You turn from it. Huh? Uh -huh. You turn from sin and God may blot it out. And then you will live. Y'all yeah. ain't saying that. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't no sin going into God's kingdom. Right. Huh? And that ain't playing with word. Read your Bible. My God, God dealt with sin. Right. Huh? If a person repent, God will blot it out. Amen. Probably will. People won't repent. Right. People got more stuff with them. It's a shame. Shucking and jiving. Playing with God. Why play with God? Hmm? Amen. Why? Can't turn your way back to God. You can't shout your way back. Right. You got to repent. Yeah, you got to turn from it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Get on that altar. <clears throat> huh? And God will restore. He will restore. He'll do it. He'll save you. Those I don't have no Holy Ghost. God will save you. But if you come here playing with God, you'll leave the way you came. If you come to church bound in sin and all locked up in sin and captured and depressed and things I just know, yeah, come on. But if you come in with a playing spirit, you got no mind to repent, you may well stay where you are. Because you're going to come bound and leave bound. What? Right. God not going against your will. Uh, you got a will, baby. There ain't no scripture in the Bible where God forced you to take him. Where he forced you to get saved. Where he forced you to repent. Amen. That's your will. Huh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But if you come with a repentant spirit, huh? Uh -huh. You come with a heart that's seeking after God and you want God to deliver you, you'll be delivered before you hit the altar. That's right. the problem is people got game with them. Yeah. Playing with God. You can't fool him. You can't fool the preacher. You can't fool the member sitting in here. <laughs> What's up? Uh -huh. You can't fool the Holy Ghost people. We may not say nothing. We know when you're playing. We know when you got a game. What? Shucking and jiving. Oh, you can't get past us. You know God got you. Lord have mercy. As Al Sharp would say, you thought you got away with it, but we got you. Huh? Well, God got you. Y'all ain't saying that. What? Come on, give me Romans 1 and begin at verse number 24. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's for burning my spirit. I know y'all heard this before. Get with me now. And this for somebody on the air, I guess. I don't know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Yeah. Romans 1 and verse 24. Come on, begin to read. Wherefore, God also gave them up. Wait a minute, who did it? God. What we're going to call it, Bible line. I challenge everybody watching me. Regardless of what your sexual orientation is, what your belief is, open your Bible. Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't have to dispute with me. Open your Bible. And, and I challenge you to follow me in your Bible. And your Bible will tell you God not pleased with that lifestyle. Your Bible will tell you. Thank you, Jesus. Your Bible. Hallelujah. God, wherefore, God also did what? Gave them up. To what? To unclean. God did it. People were so sorry and stubborn, huh? And so sinful that God gave them up to uncleanness. Read. Uh, God also gave them up to uncleanness what? through the lust of their own heart. Now look what God telling you. Huh? I'm defending the word, baby. Right. Look what God telling you. God said it was the lust of your own heart. Who are you going to put it on?